Oh, it's bright. Hey guys, it is Monday. I just got out of work. It's like 4.26 and I made an appointment for me and Jason to go to the chiropractor. Um, I actually don't go regularly, but um, need to. My back's been really bothering me. During my workouts, I've been really noticing it, especially during squats and deadlifts. So I'm going to go in and see if this helps at all. I've been having a lot of back. Okay. Low back, mid back? More um, all the above. Okay. But my, For two my weeks, low no, back right? is like always hurting me. Mm, it's your just low always, back is. My lower back, it's like a constant burning sensation when I'm working out. So I don't know if it's due to. A burning sensation? Like a burning sensation. So I don't know if it's just. I mean, I work out intense, but I don't know if it's from bad posture or what. Did you get him on camera? <laughs> yeah. He's cuter than me, so. Um, I've been having regular massage, so okay. that's been good, but I feel like maybe I'm missing something here. Wow, your records are on fire. Yeah, okay. Huh. Okay, so oftentimes if you're at a computer for a period of time, yeah, um, the scapula, as you start to Punch punch, it forward, yeah. like the scapula move laterally, right? Uh -huh. So the rhomboids connect to the medial border of the scapula to the actual spine. Yeah. And they become a little stretch weakened. It's almost like taking a rubber band and putting it on two thumb tacks. Yeah. Coming back two weeks later and taking that rubber band off, it loses el its elasticity, okay. its strength like that. Yeah. So we want to start really working on rhomboids. You can do that. You know what you're doing. Yeah. You, know, you can do that if, if you're laying down and you, you want to do some of these right. backwards. Yep. Um, you just don't want to use the posterior deltoid to do that. You want to make sure you're using, using the, rhomboid. the rhomboids. Okay. Um, if your arms are out in front of you yeah. and I just tell you to pinch your scapulas together, uh -huh. that'll use rhomboids. Okay. okay. So if you wanted to use a, a rubber band with that, gotcha. or some kind of elastic band with that to uh -huh. put tension on that, you could do that. Okay. But before you do anything here, you yeah. got to lengthen this. This, yeah. So at work. I need to stick um, my chest out. Palms forward, yeah. <laughs> Up and out. Yeah, for the world, right? Um, right. Because that'll Here I am. <laughs> that'll stretch the pectoral girdle. Right. Yeah, pec major okay. pec so, pectoral um, girdle needs yeah. strength. Right? Yeah. We'll Hold stretch on. that out, and then you can strengthen the back. Okay. And Charlie Brown, that's his spot. Oh my god, how sweet he is he? He's right there usually. He reminds me of Winston. He's just really like dopey. I don't mean that in a bad way. No, no, he's chill. He's <laughs> chill. How old is he? He just turned two. All right, so we're gonna have you go face down for a minute. Any discomfort when I do that? No. No, okay. That's the one that feels... The one that's bothering you a little bit? Yeah, it feels like it's higher up or something. It is, so it's, it's what's called posterior inferior. It's tilted back. I'm gonna to touch your hip for a second, okay? Okay. Just on the right side. Yeah. So here's your ilium, right? Yeah. Your sacrum's in the middle. So you get your, another name for ilium, uh, or your hip is ilium, I. Yeah. And your sacrum's S, so SI joint where they come together. Right. So if this gets pulled back into posterior inferior, the geometry of the femoral acetabular joint, it'll kind of, here's my pinky right here. Yeah. When this pulls back, feel how my pinky pulls towards your head? Yeah. So it actually elevates the leg, the superior leg. Right. So you didn't grow anatomically. Right. You just physiologically, your hips are off a little bit. Yeah. That's all. So it's going to drop underneath you. Okay. A little breath in and out. Okay. Good job. Good. I'm going to come around this side. I'm going to put my right hand just above your right knee. Okay. And I'm just going to lift up a little bit this way as I push down here, just like okay. a scissors motion. Okay. okay. And again, a little breathe assist. So a little breath in and out. Good job. So we got to bring that up quite high, though. I'm so tight. <laughs> you are. You okay there? Yeah, I am. I just need a little yoga. There you go. Okay. That, with that weight lifting. I know. Yoga and stretching. I know. A little breath in, all the way out. Good job. You Other side for me. Before you even moved yeah, me. <laughs> we scared that one out of you. <laughs> move. Okay. Good. You take a little breath in and out. Oh, you're so tight. <laughs> Let's go to the other side. Look that way.
A little breath in. There you go. Good job. You made it breathe out enough on the other side. Maybe not. Take your hands and put them palms down under your buttocks a little bit. Perfect. Now just let your shoulders relax nice. Any headaches at all? Um, yeah. Yeah. Are you at a desk a lot of the day? Yeah. Do you get a chance to get up and move around or? A little yeah. bit. Um, depends on my week. Sometimes I have meetings, so I'm walking more than others going to meetings because we're set up like a campus. So if so, I do get up and move. But other than that, it's just like going to the bathroom, getting up, walking through the, the kitchen or getting up and walking and talking to staff. But it's still safe. 80% of the time I'm sitting at a desk over a computer. Well, that just goes against your basic philosophy. I know, it you know. sucks. <laughs> I hate that part of my job. So I'm just going to adjust a little bit right here. Okay. So we're going to put a little pressure going that way. Okay? okay. So just take a nice little breath in. Relax. Good job. Can you hear that or is it just me? What's that? I didn't hear that no, one. I heard okay. the other one. You can hear that. Because <laughs> I can hear it. Okay. <laughs> Felt like a bomb going off. <laughs> That's comforting. It's so close to your ears. That's <laughs> no. Don't be alarmed. I know. Nice and easy right there. Good job. That one I heard. Yeah. Feels good though. Yeah, you'll feel better. Okay, so let's talk for a minute about stretching this low back because your erectors are very tight. I'm sure that's because you're very strong and because of the lifting that you do. Okay. So we're going to bend your knees just like this. And you have a little lordosis in your low back and a lordosis in your neck. And then you have what's called a kyphosis in your mid back. No, the hunchback. Yeah, well, everybody has that. Okay. okay so <laughs> those are the three curves. Yeah. But the neck and the low back are the same. Yeah. So right now in your low back, you have this little curve like this. Okay. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. So if you took this curve and you rock your hips backwards and you flatten that curve out, yeah. you're going to stretch. If a muscle is connected from here to here, as you flatten that curve, you're going to stretch that low back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just go ahead and rock, do a pelvic tilt where you rock like tilt perfect. That way. Yeah. We so do the, that in yoga. the key to this is to do it five seconds on and then relax and your hips will go back to neutral for five right. seconds okay. and then do another five seconds and hold it okay. and then relax for five okay okay um that'll give what's great about this is when you bend over you stretch the low back erectors right but the very muscles you just tried to stretch when you stand back up you're asking them to contract yeah here after you stretch them they're just going back into a neutral position with no active motion there okay yeah. it's just kind of passive right? uh, yeah okay so every day okay Probably the rest of your life, you know, yeah. because I think they're a good thing to do anyhow. Right. Okay. But I think that would, would really be beneficial to you. Okay. The other thing is you got to stretch this pectoral girdle. Yeah. So if you're on a, a lifting bench, bring the arms out just like this. No weights because we don't want to hurt the anterior capsules of the shoulders. Yeah. And we just want to stretch pec and minor, pec like major. Stretch like this. Just like that. If you want, you can put a towel underneath your mid back, which would put your your chest okay. more towards the ceiling okay. and give you more of an opening, okay? Okay. okay. So anything like that is going to be good. Okay. Yep. Any that. questions about that? No, it's easy enough. Since Kara left her camera at home, um, I'm going to show you her food prep. Um, I just got home from work. I got to make her food for tomorrow. I'm just going to make double everything so she has it for the next two days. It is 5.13. So... I gotta take care of the fam before I take care of myself. This guy is all set. He ate, he's had his medicine. And now, this is Kara's food list. I don't know if it'll focus. I'll make this stuff for the next two days. So basically double everything. And you're gonna get to see it in a time warp. 514.
Alright guys, it's 5.50. It took me longer than normal. Most likely because of the damn camera. And I actually had to text Kara because the list she sent me wasn't really too specific with amounts. Like how much stuff was supposed to weigh. 5.51. I think I started at 5.14, 5.17. Um, I ended up making two of everything. So liquid egg whites with baby spinach. Let's see if you can see that. Um, two little jars of peanut butter for the next two days. Two um, half cup oats. Two chicken breasts, which were already made. We made those on Sunday. I had to bake asparagus. Um, I had to make some rice in the microwave. Get our two servings of those. Two servings of coconut oil. Two servings of broccoli, which we brought the steamers and I just um, threw that in the microwave. Um, two burgers, which we made on Sunday as well. Um, two servings of our strawberries. Uh, sweet potatoes. My phone's dying. Um, four ounces, so two of those. And the birthday cake way and the caramel rice cake she'll most likely eat when she gets home at night. Or she'll just, you know, grab that herself and bring it to work since she's doing intermittent fasting. So here's all the food. Here's the peanut butter. Peanut butter. Oats. Oats. And we got burger, broccoli, rice, chicken, asparagus, strawberries, egg whites, and the same over here. And that's the leftovers. And that's it. Now I'm going to go eat because I'm starving. <laughs> so I got home from work, got my order from New Vision Nutrition. You remember a long time ago I did order meals from Fuel Up, but I want it to, this is scary, maybe I shouldn't use this. I want it to, yeah, I'm gonna use something different. Jeez, don't miss the um, So now that I'm prepping again, I want it to try out some meals. Just, I know it's more expensive, but time is precious, so. Show you guys real quick what I got. And then I'll probably do a separate video like doing a full review on what I thought about the product, maybe how it compares to fuel up meals and all that jazz. How long does it take me to open a box? A big box. It's cold. Put your fingers in the nipples. insulated um, package with a bunch of ice on top which it's like really cold in Syracuse so it's not a big deal here but dry ice huh dry ice dry ice yeah you ready for it huh do you want to do something fun with it yep. <laughs> cue the scary spooky music <laughs> Take them all out? Yeah, just take one out. See how they look. Okay, they're frozen right now. So you should put them back in the This food. one's salmon, broccoli, and mixed vegetables. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Kind of can't because it's kind of frozen. Well, we'll throw them in the freezer. Um, I'll probably throw them in the fridge. They last in the fridge for 10 days. Oh, okay. Or either way, you can do it either or. I have to figure it out. But there's all the meals I got. You can just tell them later okay. when you review it. All right, review later. It. It's more about um, the time of day that you're consuming your foods in a smaller period of time and fasting for a longer period of time. So for me, I normally eat within a six to eight hour window and for the weekends, it's somewhat, it, it's a little bit different for me because of my schedule being different um, versus my weekdays when I go to work. 
I get up earlier. So the weekend's a bit different for me. Um, it is rather late now for me to 